Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. I've got a special treat for you guys today. We are in Northern Ohio in a super cute little town called Huron. It's right on Lake Erie. We're about an hour from Cleveland and an hour from Toledo, right at the Southern tip of Lake Erie. And we are at my in-laws house today. So I have brought you guys here before on some different videos. Um, it's probably been about maybe I think last summer. And we're back again um, visiting our family. And so I thought it would be fun to show you some different things around my mother and father-in-law's house. You can see that they live in this absolutely gorgeous farmhouse. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. This is one of the reasons why I fell in love with farmhouses 20 some plus years ago. I've always loved their house. It's very cozy. It's very inviting. And I think you guys will love it too. Um, I don't know that we will get any inside filming done for you guys today, but I definitely want to walk you around, show you her side garden, which is so, so cute. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And we'll see what other things we can do. So um, my mother-in-law is actually behind the camera right now filming this intro. So we're gonna flip around and we're gonna start showing you guys what we can here today before it gets too dark. So let's go. All right. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put my mother-in-law on film too. I don't know if she's gonna want me to do this or not, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> so I guess my first question, this is Cheryl. Hi. She actually has a YouTube channel too mm -hmm. called Yikes, I'm a Chicken Mom, where she talks a lot about chickens. She, you guys, she is like the queen of chicken rearing, I think. <laughs> um, she loves her chickens. She, they are just her little pets. And so you guys will have to go over there she doesn't film a whole lot. Mm -mm. Here and there, she's got some things, um, but you guys will have to go check her channel out if you are interested in anything chicken related. So the first thing I'll ask you, um, so you, how long have you guys owned this home? We've owned it since 1992. 1992. Mm -hmm. When we came to it, it had no shutters. It was all white. It had been a rental property. There was no garage on the house. Sorry, I'm getting closer because I'm afraid okay. our sound is not gonna be all great. Right. Sorry. And there was no garage on the house. There was no sidewalk. There was no driveway. And it was actually in such bad condition, the boys were embarrassed to get off the bus here or pick, picked up by the school <laughs> bus. It was that bad. So, so when I saw it, I knew I could do something with it. So you saw the bones. You saw the yeah. potential. Yes. So you moved here when the boys were in high school, right? Junior high. Junior high. So yes. they were still in like middle school yes. then. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So um, tell me when you guys... What color was the original home? It was all white and it had, I believe, a green roof on it at okay. that time. Okay, and so yeah. now I'm gonna pan over here so you guys can see this. Now the house, they've painted it. What color is it? It's like a butter cream? I guess. We just bought more paint and I can't remember what the name of it was. It looks to me, it's kind of, it's got it's a, a little- bar paint. Okay, it's got like a yellow hue, mm -hmm. but it's not quite yellow. I right. love the color of the paint though. I think that yeah. it looks so good with this house. And then she's got the hunter green shutters and you can see that she, if you can see the little um decorative pieces that are above the windows are painted in like a burgundy color um so i think she's kind of in the midst right now of changing her mind <laughs> about some things um you just painted your front door right there yes. all white yes i wanted it to look bigger it was burgundy mm -hmm. And it just was too dark. Okay. And I felt like my door didn't really show. And I wanted it to look bigger, so I painted it all white. And But you can still see the burgundy inside door. So I want to paint that side of it white, too, to, to really make it stand out. Make it stand out. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll kind of try and get a little bit of a closer view um, and see. And you, you let her know down in the comment section if you think that she should paint that yeah. inside door white or if she should leave it alone or, or what have you. I have my opinion, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I have another question they could answer. Okay. I call those eyebrows above the windows. Okay. And I want to paint those back white. I don't, I'm getting to where I'm not sure I like the burgundy anymore. Okay. I, I know the profile would still show, but it wouldn't be as definite. So I'd like to hear what people think about that. Should she, so there's your questions. There's your homework. Um, should she paint, and let's just go ahead and let's move on up here so okay. you guys can see this a little closer. So let's get, okay, so this is what she's talking about. The right up here, yes. these little decorative pieces, she's thinking about painting them full on white, so you probably won't see them very well. 
Um, but she's thinking, I guess you're just kind of tired of it, right? It's yes, kind of been like this for a while. Before, and I back, and this was back in the eight, 90s, early 2000s, I decided to paint them that color. I think on the other side, we painted a few white so that I could kind of get a look at it. Uh huh. And we can probably show them. Over okay. There. So she wants to know if you guys think she should paint those all white. And also, let's give a little snippet here of the front porch. Mm -hmm. So this is, she just painted this door all white. Mm -hmm. She's going to um, paint the inside door white. Are you guys going to remove the little wagon wheel? Yes. I call them wagon yes, wheels. I want to take those off of there. So they're going to take the little spindly shaped things, decorative pieces off. I think that will look good because I that will too. open up the window more mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Let her know. Let us know. But um, this is her cute little porch. So this old house had two different entrances to the home. Yes, and there's Tell story, us why. There's a story behind it. They think our house might have been a stagecoach stop. At one time, and this the, this is the fam what we use as a family room, and it can be closed off from the rest of the house inside. So this was like the secondary main uh, main door, mm -hmm. and that if they were waiting for the coach, that's where they would wait. It was also, I know a lot in southern homes, they would also be called a funeral door, because people would lay and wake in a room like this, so the public could come and pay their respects without. Interrupting the like the, the rest of the that's kind of mm -hmm. creepy, isn't it? Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess that's feels, just it's okay they, to me. I mean, yeah, I don't feel anything weird. Yeah, yeah that's so. good, that's good. <laughs> but, um, she has this cute little porch up here. Mm -hmm. I don't think they use this porch very often. Mm -hmm. Um, she has her back deck, and that's where the really beautiful view is. And so, she they use that yes. deck area way more. But, um, mm -hmm. so you can see this is what the front door well, the other front door used to look like it was burgundy and then the burgundy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let her and know. It was even like burgundy trim. I mean, the whole thing. Oh, it was. No, I don't know. No, no, no. I'm wrong. This part yeah, has always. Just, this was always it was white. Just like this, and it made the door look too. You think it just makes it look too small? Yes. So she's kind of wanting to make it like a bigger effect. Yes. So let us know. Yes. But um, let me just peek around here. All right. So um. She doesn't want me to show you too much of some of this because they said that they've got to do some weeding, which anybody that has any kind of garden area knows. Do you ever catch up with any kind of weeding? I doubt it. <laughs> but we'll show you a little bit here. This is a sum and substance hosta. Stand next to it so yeah. Big it this, these, you guys, look how big this is. Put yeah. your hand next to one of those leaves. Look at that. Yeah. This thing is ginormous. Yes. They I'm five are, feet too, so you can tell. Look how big this how is. How big this thing is. It's just. It's, it's massive. Here. She got me a couple of them last year, so because I've always wanted some of these sum and substance hostas. She got me a couple of them, and then I just found out that she actually bought me a couple more. So mine are doing pretty good. Mine aren't nearly this big yet. Yeah. Nearly this big. I think this one's probably about four years old. Okay. This one over here is about three years old. Okay. This, this one right here. And it's about to bloom. You can see it's got Oh, look at it. that. Look at yeah. those leaves. There's no fragrance to this one, but it does get a pretty big white flower on it. Gosh, they are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. And look at all these hostas. I love those. I love that mix of those green, the darker mm -hmm. green and the lighter green. Yeah, hostas are one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And this is another thing that I'm always in love with. It's this tree. So I have for years have been like, I want this tree so bad. Nobody, nobody knows the name of it. I forget. <laughs> That's what they tell me. They always forget the name of it. But um, my father-in-law has to trim the top of it all the time yeah, to keep it right that. Now, you can see, it okay, to, I it, see. It won't stay flat. It, so it wants to grow mm -hmm. up high. Yes. So in order to maintain this look, they have to trim the top of it to yeah. train it to stay flatter. Yeah, maybe but, somebody uh, knows what. It yeah, is. this is the shape of the leaf. If you guys know what this is, let us know. I'm yeah. sure they it, could figure it out. It but. doesn't flower. Okay. And it's got like a birchy looking trunk on it. Okay. I think. I, I just love it. I just yeah. love it so much. The kids, this is one of my favorite places to take pictures of my grandchildren when they would come to visit. They'd be hiding back in there and they would have their little faces pulled out. Peeking out. And I just, those pictures to me are precious. Oh yeah. They would play hide and seek under here. Some years we would let this grow long when the kids were coming, so it would make like a little hideaway for them to play in. I remember that. Yeah. I remember before when it's been longer. Yeah. Look how cute. She has this cute little concrete angel in there. So cute. 
All right, so let's walk around. So this is my father-in-law's barn. I think he's very proud of it. Every time I come, he'll like, if he's done something up there, he'll have to show me like, so he's got some lights strung over there. I mean, you can't see them, they're not visible. But I think they're just Christmas lights and he had to make sure, hey Kim, we think about my lights out there. <laughs> it does look cozy though, but that's kind of his area. So that's why it's not really decorated per se. Yeah, that's, that's my father-in-law's decoration right there. He's happy to sit on that chair or that rocker and yep. just look. <laughs> yeah, he decorated the pumpkin for you. That's an old pumpkin that grew what? there like two years ago. It grew out front two it's years ago. Serious? And it's all dried out and hollow. Oh my gosh. So he keeps his hat on. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. no, see. I think Man, I'm surprised that thing doesn't stink or hasn't no, like... it doesn't. And it's, look, look how light it is. Oh my gosh. It's just light. It's a real pumpkin? It's a real pumpkin. How did it not like disintegrate like I, when it started we've rotting? We've never seen anything like it. And then look, he keeps a hat on it. Yeah. This is so typical of my father-in-law. <laughs> so typical. Yeah. Anyway, so here is, here's my, this has always been my favorite garden. And wait until you guys see it. So let's, um, I'll show you real quick here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So there's something they painted all white. There's another one. Of course, they don't have central air in this home. This is an older home, so they have to unfortunately keep the things. I mean, it doesn't matter, honestly. It's not bad, but when you're outside, of course, you see them. But it is what it is. You got to stay cool, right? But um, being a lap and plaster house, if we keep it shut up or opened up in the morning to get the cool air, and then we shut down the windows before it gets hot, it stays cool. That's good. Yeah, That's it good. really does. Um, th she's got this cute little ball thing here. She doesn't want me to show you a whole lot here because they got a lot of weeding to do. So I'll try to overlook some of it. But I know y'all will be understanding. Okay, so look at this cute little picket fence that they have. All right. This has always been my favorite area. And it's changed through the years. Mm -hmm. So she hasn't... Um, it's been a couple years since you've really worked it and this year she decided to really get in here and work it and it has paid off because it is so cute yeah she does have some chicken wire up because the chickens do run around and she's trying to prevent them from getting in her super cute area but look at this you guys oh my goodness doesn't that just look like something just, oh, I dream about this garden. It is so, so cute. It's so cottagey and just so, the colors are unbelievable. I, I just, I love it. I love everything about this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk in here and I'm gonna have her maybe point out some of her favorite flowers, anything that she wants to say about this super cute little area. Maybe where, you know, maybe how you started this area. Okay. So um, let's go ahead. I, one thing I do love is this walkway, this stone. I guess it's pavers. No, these no, are what natural are? stones that we had found on the property. Really? Mm -hmm. And you guys did this. So y'all did Ken, this. Ken and my dad. Did. Okay. So, so Papa Mark and my father-in-law did this i didn't realize that for some odd reason i was thinking that this was just something original nope. that's really cool though because it looks old though yes. it looks like it's been here yeah, forever that's why i wanted it to look natural yeah really yeah like oh by the way i don't know if i asked this when was this home built do you know we're not exactly sure you know, being they said it could have been a stagecoach stop mm -hmm. we really don't there's no records that go back that far that i can find ah. but they definitely know it was on the tax rolls in 1920 okay so it's probably it's at least 100 years old. it's at least 100 years old, old. Yeah, it's probably it's more. probably more and this is actually was a part of a farm yes. family yes. that they probably um the wilcoxes right yes, yes. they owned i'm they assuming owned everything across the road everything back wow behind the tree line. so it was a way that way big farm big yes. farm family that owned this originally yes so, okay, all right, so let's step in here. Now, I will be honest with you, I am apologizing in advance if it's a little bit hard to hear. I'm gonna try and do the best that we can. We do have the air conditioner oh, running, yeah. which may mess us up just a little bit. We're gonna do the best we can. I can run in and turn it off. Do you want to? If you want me to. I, it probably would be better for the video. Okay, while she, I'm hoping not to have to edit this video at all. 
So I will just point out some of my favorite things while she's running to turn the air conditioner off. Um, first of all, I'm gonna let her tell you about the statue, but that is definitely one of my all time favorite things. Um, I just, I love the way that they have taken this gravel and they have made this cute little path. And in the center, they have placed this like cute little circle planter and they've used their natural rocks as the, um, you know, the wall of that. There's just different flowers in here that as she's talking, I'll kind of say which ones are my favorite, but she does have a mixture of perennials and she does have some annuals in here. And she said she did that for this year to kind of take up space um, and some, I guess maybe some added color, but she is definitely a perennial lover. She likes perennials more than anything, because as we all know, if you do a garden with a lot of annuals, that's a lot of money that you got to spend each year. So, okay, so now she's got that downstairs AC turned off. So, um, I want you to just show us around and whatever you want to talk about. Okay. The floor is yours. Well, the first thing, the centerpiece of the garden is a gift from Kim and Eric. <laughs> and that's the bird girl. As you guys know, she used to live in coastal South Carolina. And your parents lived in Savannah. Savannah, yeah. And we would go there a lot. Yes. And, and we were fascinated by, by the story of the bird girl. Does, do you remember... So this was something that came out of Savannah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the significance of the bird girl was? I, I, she was a tombstone for somebody that was buried in the, what was it St. Boniface? Bo oh my goodness, I am cemetery. so, it's, it's a, the it's big a one. very famous mm -hmm. cemetery in Savannah. Yes. But her popular, this, this particular statue doesn't necessarily have historical necessarily value, right. but what made this statue so popular was the book and the movie in the, it, the well, garden of good and evil. Yes. yes. Midnight in the garden yes. of good and evil. I don't yes. remember who wrote that book. Do you remember who wrote that? I can't recall, but I do know, but I can't recall. And if you guys have not seen that movie or read that book and you plan a trip to Savannah, I highly recommend it because there is a lot of actual, um, um, truth in that book. Lots uh -huh. of people and characters that are in that book and movie are actual people from Savannah. Right. And it just gives you such a good idea of how eccentric Savannah yes. is. And yes. it is. I love Savannah though. Yes. And you can tour that home. Oh yes. Where that movie was filmed. Yeah. You remember, I can't remember the name of that house either. I know we should have done a little background information. <laughs> people will know it. Yeah. They'll that. know. Anyway. So yeah. So Yep, that we got that for her years and years ago. So, okay, go ahead. Okay, so one of the other features of the garden that I really like, my husband built this fence for me. And let me get in here and I'll show you. And if you're going thinking of building a fence, I would highly recommend he put hangers on here. They, these are not nailed in. So when it comes time to clean, all we do is lift this whole section off and away. I can get back in here to mulch, to weed, to plant. And then he just sets them back on. And if I want to paint them, I can take them off in the wintertime, nice. take them in, get them all ready for spring, and save some time. So I would highly recommend fence hangers okay. to do that. And it probably wouldn't really be any more complicated to it's, do that. It's easier. Okay. And you can do maintenance and repair on them okay. much Let easier, too. Let me get a too. clip of that so yeah. you, they see. He's got some of these straight ones, but I kind of like down on that section, there is a different little beefier hanger. Let's see. There you I'll go. That's the hanger I really like right there. Okay. So she can just lift them mm -hmm. straight off and get them out of the way if she need be. Right. Then the All other right. feature that I like is this centerpiece here that holds the, the stonework for the center island here. I had my sister-in-law come over one day and she was looking at my garden. She says, you know, that really needs like a little walkway and a little centerpiece. And I'm like, yeah. Margaret said Margaret. that, oh, that's cool. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's funny, I was just saying, but when you went to turn the AC back on off, I was like, okay. So I was like, let me tell you a couple of my favorite features. The bird girl statue was yes. one of them. But also I said, I love how y'all did this circle yes. and you made this little planner in the center. Yes. It just made it, I don't know. It just yes. adds, adds something it really. Does. It gives us some more character, I guess. Yes, it does. So and I really like it that anything that my husband or somebody I love that will do in here, it just makes it that much more special rather than 
having it done. Yeah, rather than paying somebody, you yes. when she comes out here, she's saying that. Um, so obviously Margaret is her sister-in-law, and mm -hmm. she gave her the idea to do yes. this. And then on top of it, your yes. um, my father-in-law yes. is the one that put it yes. in for her. And yeah, so with more stones that we found on our property rather than bringing some in from somewhere else. Okay, and you guys have like found that. a lot of those stones yes. on this property. Yes, there, there's a whole, and we've got a whole bunch over there, especially when we tore down the old barn that was there. There's a big stack of thick. Yeah, big, big stones, huge you guys. limestone. Big limestone. And, and up here where we live, limestone is mined as gravel, and there's a lot of gravel mining here with limestone and buildings, historical buildings in limestone. Okay. They're beautiful. All right. And then this is a new feature this year, and I did. I wanted this smooth, so I did buy pavers mm -hmm. to go here. But this bench, I traded my sister-in-law a dresser, Margaret, mm -hmm. a dresser for this bench. Oh, that's cool. So <laughs> thank you, it thank you, Margaret. Well. Yeah. <laughs> and this little thing here, I've had for years, and I was about to give it to Goodwill until I realized I was going to put the bench here, and then I could hang this on the side of the house. And I love it. I can't believe she was going to get it at the Goodwill. Because let me just tell you something right now. <laughs> if I had seen that, I'd been like, mm -mm, I'll take that. That's I cute. Know, but I, I'm just in this mood where I want to get just, rid of stuff. Uh, she's going to have to consult me before she gets rid of stuff <laughs> but from it was now on. painted. Look, it I know. Well I see that. that. I see that. That is so yeah. cute. Yeah. I love that. So I love that. Oh, and I love this. These little types of things. When you see like a little birdie statue, yeah. just yeah. kind of tucked away. Yes. I, I want like little surprises when people look around. Yeah, I like that. And these planters I bought at Tractor Supply several years ago, and they're lightweight, they're plastic, but they look... I think yeah, they're they, galvanized. They, they're galvanized. They're okay. Yeah, I love them. All right. It's and getting a little see. dark out. It might be a little bit difficult oh, to see. It looks, still, yeah. it looks good on film, though, so okay, we're good. Right. And then I love my little nod to Kim's collection. Oh, yeah. Frogs. My frog princes. Yes. So I, I've got that to remind me of Kim. There. <laughs> I see it. That's cute. But some of my favorite flowers, this is one. It's a delphinium and it blooms. And this is its first year. I bought them kind of big this year because I wanted to get it. I didn't Established, yeah. Yeah. And what I did to keep them blooming is they say when this first stalk comes up, and this is the second bloom of this flower. Okay. In the first bloom that comes up in the summer, and they're usually massive, uh -huh. when it's almost done, cut it off. Really? And, it'll... and then it will send up all these side shoots and it will prolong your flowers. Otherwise, this thing would not be blooming right really? now. Really? 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah, so that's something to remember. And you can do that with foxgloves. Okay. Um, I've got a little foxglove around here. Oh, he's done blooming. Mm. So he's all done. But She's then, got some zinnias yes. back there to kind of give some color mm -hmm. and yeah. some instant so, gratification. Yeah. yeah, and next year I'm planning to replace a lot of the annuals with perennials because right now I've got a huge tree. Kim, if you can turn around and show them that tree, that tree has to come there down. Slow. We're kind of sad about this tree yeah. having to come down because it's been here forever and we love it, but it is just really bad in yeah. very bad shape. And yes. so they got to get it taken down. Yes, but it will let, let so much more sun in here because it's highly shaded next to the house. So I can right. plant a lot of things. Okay. But this is another one of my favorites. This is a lupin. Lupin. And, mm -hmm, L U P I N E. Okay. And it is a perennial. And I love the shape of the leaves and the way raindrops look when they hit on there. Oh. And see, here comes another one right now. Oh, yeah, I see it. See it right here? Mm -hmm. And this one, when this is, gets to about here, I will cut it off and let it bloom. Okay. These are annuals. They're, I can't make, for whatever reason, perennial salvia keep blooming. So I will always do an annual salvia. So there, they have the annual salvias and perennials? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. That's so yeah. weird. Yeah, but the annual ones will keep blooming. And this is a white yarrow. I love yarrow. And I like white in a garden because when I'm upstairs in my bedroom and I'm looking down on this garden, I noticed that I've got a little white impatient there and one here. And it looked like little lights were on in my garden with this white. So I knew I needed more white. White. I need even more white than I've got. To reflect. I guess it maybe yes. it's like a little reflect. It does. It's such a contrast. It's such a like a stark contrast yes. between white and like the brown mulch and right. the dark leaves and the you know. Right. And your shirt right now looks like it's glowing. Black. Yeah. So it's almost like black it light. <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. White absorbs the light. And yeah. It really shows. And she got a. Um, she's. Tell us, you're leaving this a little bit empty. Yes, there's Ken is going to put a fountain in there for me. 
When my garden was original, I had another section over that way with fence. Mm -hmm, I remember that. And in the corner, he took an old galvanized watering bucket and he put it on a stand that we had so it was kind of tipped. And then he sunk a galvanized wash tub down in front of it. Mm -hmm. And then we planted around it and he put a little pump in it and that sprinkler can was sprinkled water down I remember into that. the galvanized tub. I remember that. So this little corner is being saved for that. So they're gonna put that cute little water feature. Yeah. That'll be super cute. Yes. She's got a hot, really pretty pink hydrangea yeah. back there. That will have to be moved. Yeah, because those but, get so big. Yes. Another favorite in my garden, and this one is done now, but this is an alum. This was called Star of Persia, and it was just covered with flowers, but inside this structure is visible, and it's just coated with purple flowers. And I'm leaving it here because you can see there's three sections, four sections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every one contains a seed, so it will drop, and I will have all kinds of these. And she loves these because they're really yes. big and showy, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yes. They are so pretty. And too. some people take them and they paint them, spray paint them in silver or gold and they put them in their Christmas trees really? and things like that. Mm -hmm. They're real pretty. I mean, they're really way. just pretty without even mm -hmm. the blooms on them. Yeah. It's such a neat little, like, yes. fireworky starburst yes. type of a, yes. a plant, isn't yes. it? Yes. These, and then these are so pretty. I know, they, they've really they gotten are, gorgeous. They're so beautiful. But this is one of the foxgloves. It's a peach one. And over there and over there. And I cut, these are the ones I cut the main stalk off. And they should have been done blooming now, but since I cut the main stalk, you can see there's still little ones. They're still, up. yeah. I need to come and clip some more so that they just so they'll keep, come, keep really coming. energizing. Yeah. That's cool. And this flower, I really don't like it, but I do. Okay. It spreads like crazy and it can be very invasive. I don't even know what it's called. But it's not, thing, it's not a black eyed Susan, no, right? And it's, no. Is it a rutabecchia? No, no, those are small too. So what is, I have, I have some no of these idea. too. And like I told you, this year they have went crazy and yes. they probably came from your yes. house. So when they start blooming about, they just started blooming before you got here. Okay. They will bloom all fall. So, so that's I, cool. I like that. I keep them. But, yeah. But I have to pull up. So you can see that, look, she has yes. one there, yeah, I it there and she has some over here. Yes, so the corner of that fence over there. Oh, I see them fence. peeking through. Yeah. Yep. So I, I like that about them. So I, I put up with them. Okay. And I don't know what this one is called, but I love the silvery leaves on it and the magenta flowers. Mm -hmm. And again, this one you can see it's got some dried up bulbs I haven't trimmed in a couple of days. But if you don't keep those trimmed off, the flower, once it goes to seed, which is what's happening here, mm -hmm. it thinks it's done its job for nature and it's done. So if you keep those all cut off, it says, oh, I haven't got seeds. So it will keep, keep producing. It will prolong this. So you got to mm -hmm. stay on top of it, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. If you stay on top of it, that is a good way yeah. to keep your flowers yes. growing longer. And it's a pleasant thing to do, too. Yeah, to yeah. Come out here and be in them. Now, yeah. this, is a, I, I, this is a cone flower, but I can't remember if it's pink or yellow. It's one I've had for years. It's okay. been here, and it survived my neglect. <laughs> <laughs> and these are red lilies. And they're beautiful, but they don't last very long. But the foliage is interesting. Yeah. And that's another delphinium back there. And I forget what color it is. I think, I think you have to plant a garden with the idea of having what the foliage looks like. It's so yes. important, right? It, yes. Because they're, I mean, most flowers don't bloom for that long. Right. But their foliage is there. Right. So you want to, I guess, right. be really mindful yes. of that. Yes. So what is, what is this again? I know you told me what this, this is. This is my little herb garden. And okay. This is new this year. These are nasturtiums. And I planted, everything in here is edible. Okay. So you can pull these flowers off and add them to the, and you pull the petals off and they're kind of a peppery taste. And you okay. can add them to salads and they're so beautiful. They are so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it how that like yeah. spills over. Yes. And what, okay. what other herbs do you have I, in here? I have a, uh, rosemary in the back. I've got some parsley here and some basil and I think that's a sage and over there is oregano and this one is what's that stuff you put in salads sometimes oh gosh You're, my brain just went Meh. I forget anyway anyway it's a her this is where she's keeping all of her herbs as well as the little yes. edible flowers yes. um and I just think that's a neat a neat little way to do yes. an herb garden yeah and it's right off the kitchen yeah the porch and kitchen so that's nice so it's convenient yeah. too and one of the really, a new hosta this year for me is this year, and I think it's called weed. Oh, I can't Let me see. see. 
I love this thing. I love the curly leaves on I it. I do too, that's pretty. It's called... Shadowland? There, uh, Hope that... Springs Eternal. Oh, Hope, oh, what a pretty name. Yes, and look how curly it is. Yeah, that is neat. Hope's... I really like that. I like that too, Hope yeah. Springs Eternal. Yes. And then this big wisteria has been here since we moved in and it was this size when we moved in. This year I really did a hard trim on it and it gets the beautiful purple color. Oh yeah, I, I love wisteria. Wisteria mm -hmm. grows so invasively in our area though. Mm -hmm. It, not here. But not, so not here. It no. doesn't grow invasively. No. In our area, it is like people don't want it because yeah. it's so invasive and it like strangles trees right. and, but it's so high. I don't care. No, it's romantic. It's so romantic. It, it smells It good. smells delicious. Yeah. I, I, I love how her wisteria, it just, it's just, I don't know. It's yeah. just such a neat little feature out here. Yeah. So neat. Yeah. One last flower is this, this is new for me this year. This is called a, a double. It's a coneflower, and the, that is called so cantaloupe. Pretty. And I love the color of it. Mm -hmm. A it's regular coneflower, this cone will just grow up and stay a cone. But this one blooms. So it's, so a, it's a double, double coneflower. Yeah. How cool yeah, is that? Yeah, I love that. It's got a pretty color. Mm -hmm. And this, this is a, a very... GM. It's called G-E-U-M. G-E-U-M. That too. is a pretty little flower on there. What mm -hmm. a pretty color. Yeah. And I love, even though I know they're annuals, mm -hmm. the little African violets that she yeah. has in different places. Yeah. And I got those too because they go, we could put them in salads. I've got them in blue and I've got them in that deep red. I love that. I think that deep red is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I just think they are so beautiful. Yeah. I don't know if they can see them in the dark here. Yeah. So um, we're, we're kind of going up on like 30, 33 minutes here for our video. So we're about done. But let me just tell you. Um, Here's our little, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, you know, our little shopping spot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we went to, we stopped at a, um, a greenhouse the other day that we fell in love with. I think it's called, if you happen to live anywhere in the area, um, around Huron, it's called Hooks. Yes nursery and it was outside of Wellington yes, I think so. outside of Wellington we actually were going to we went to Medina to the tea house which is kind of our tradition but this greenhouse was so nice and my mother-in-law went a little buck wild my father-in-law was like oh my gosh what has she done so she bought oh, but they were such great prices yes. so she bought all of these these are black eyed Susans is right one yeah. I this don't know is if just this is not a black eyed Susan. What is this then? The, Rutabecchia? The black eyed Susan is smaller. So is this a Rutabecchia? Rutabecchia. Okay, Rutabecchia. Look, Look at the at size this. of this pot. And this is I'm just one, one and it plant. It was only $15. And then it was 25% off. Yes. Right. So great deals. She got a couple yes. of those. She got some kohlrabi to plant. Yes. Sweet um, potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And these beautiful limey green coneflowers. Yeah. Isn't, that's like the color that they are, the lime green. Isn't yes. that cool? Yes. And then um, they even gave us some little begonias yeah. as a thank you gift mm -hmm. for purchasing something from the greenhouse. I thought yes. that was so sweet. Yes. And I got, I only got one thing. It's the best. I, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it is super funky. It's, it's big. I can't even remember. Okay, y'all, look at this. Look it is them. like, it looks weird. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's like, it's so weird. I don't think this thing blooms, but it is called... We were kind of questioning if it was what we Whoops, sorry. <laughs> we were questioning what it was because on the tag it didn't really say so much. So I googled it real quick and it sure enough was what we thought it was. And it's called a what's it called? A something walking a um, Harry Louder walking stick, I believe. That's right. Harry Louder walking stick. And so I want these as well as those um the willow tree, is it called willow tree? Willow? Willow trees, yeah. curly willows or something like yes. that. Curly willow bushes or whatever they're called, mm -hmm. tree, curly willow trees. I want them and including this because you can like cut them and dry the um, stems out or the sticks out, whatever they are, branches out, whatever they are. And use them in floral arrangements because as you can see, look at this. They're just like these yeah, so gnarly, curly, funky looking like branches. And I I don't know. It was yeah, a it was to me it was rare. I've never seen one for sale. It's something that I've talked about before and I I really like weird stuff and so I thought this would just be perfect. It was a little bit more expensive though, yeah. but it was on sale 25% off. It's a rare plant. Yeah, and it's rare. So, yep. So anyway, um, I'm going to let my mother-in-law do the closing arguments here. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
trying to close the arguments. <laughs> So we're done. It's getting mm -hmm. dark. We're, we're bringing down yeah. the house tonight. That's all yeah. we're going to have time to show you. Yeah. Um, but thank you, Cheryl, for giving us a tour of your super cute, lovely garden. Thank I'm you. so thankful that I get to come here yeah. and enjoy her her yard and her gardens. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And she puts a lot of hard work into it, and so does my father-in-law. Yes, he, he does. He's a great worker himself. Yes. So, um, oh, look. I don't know if you can see on video, but the fireflies are coming out. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can see them. Oh, it's, it's so pretty y'all I wish I could had time to show you a bit more maybe in another video but anyway if you've enjoyed this video we would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share it and of course you know all the drill I would love it if you would subscribe go check my mother-in-law's channel out yikes I'm a chicken mom and we will see you guys in the next video all right bye bye, bye. <laughs>